what is taxonomy and is mine awesome? So we often um, get asked or do a lot of asking ourselves about taxonomy. And uh, when we say taxonomy, what we mean in the smallest scale sense is a set of organized words that are managed by an organization to describe a different thing. And, you know, an easy one to understand are regions of the world. You know, you might say we have Asia and within Asia we have China. And that represents a taxonomy of countries and regions. And that's very straightforward. Um, taxonomies can be applied to all sorts of things. They can be applied to different kinds of audiences, different topics for content, different levels of engagement. Like this is content for somebody who's just being introduced to the organization. This is content for somebody who's a highly uh, you know, affiliated member. Um, so they can be useful for all sorts of things. Uh, taxonomy is historically been mostly used on websites to organize content around an issue or region. So this is all our content on security or this is all our content on, you know, France or whatnot. That's very limiting and it doesn't expose the real power of taxonomy, which is that taxonomy can help you really understand organizationally who your uh, audiences are and what their interests are and how to create smaller segments that really represent highly focused, highly interested portions of your audience. And the way that that works is that we use those taxonomies across all of your systems, not just your website. So we'll go into your CRM and make sure that people's interests and focuses represent the same taxonomy as you use in your email outreach to send a newsletter to uh, a group that's focused on one issue. And we use that on the website to organize that content and so that there's a nice linear path between those. And that structure helps us learn all sorts of interesting things about your audiences. For instance, you can tell when somebody is self-selecting into an interest because of the content that they consume, whether that be clicking through an email or opening up um, a social media post or whatever it is, because that taxonomy is attached, we now have more information about that user. It also helps you understand when your taxonomy isn't quite right or when interests might be clumped together. So everybody who always reads about technology also always also reads our mobile phone content maybe we should connect those taxonomy terms or connect the content and outreach of those two terms together because we see that content being jointly consumed together. And that would be much more difficult to tell within your analytics or within your uh, reporting if you didn't have those taxonomy terms applied because what you'd really see are two individual articles that are connected, but you wouldn't see the broader topic about those articles that connects them. And so taxonomy is really valuable and important organizations to help them understand their audiences, what they're interested in, and to ensure that all of these tools are working in concert and in harmony, because if the taxonomy is only on the website, then you're having to discover a whole other set of interests and profile information in the CRM, and those can be uh, at loggerheads or not quite synced up. And it also leads to uh, people having hundreds of uh, synonyms for the same thing, like you know, uh, Asia is a good example. It might be Asia, it might be Eurasia, it might be, you know, Southeast Asia, it might be East Asia, it might be the Pacific Rim. And people might be all talking sort of about the same thing, but not quite the same thing. And having a managed taxonomy solves that problem. So there's a, a lot of value in taxonomies and uh, you can tell if yours is awesome or not based on how many of those things up above I just spoke about uh, you checkmarked in your head as you're hearing me speak.